who was Hannah Clear? Was one of the four Idaho student murder victims a possible bully? Was Hannah Clear bullied into committing suicide? Online sleuths have independently investigated the Idaho murder case and have devised several theories about why someone would want to kill the four victims. A new hypothesis recently circulated on Twitter that one of the victims in an Idaho murder case was a bully and their actions had caused a former roommate to take her own life. A Twitter user claimed the quadruple homicide is connected to Hannah Clear who was supposedly an ex-roommate and shared her dorm room with one of the Idaho victims. As per the claims made in the tweet, they bullied and harassed Clear, who eventually took her own life on February 24th, 2022. The user wrote, Hannah Clear took her life in February. She shared a dorm with one of the victims and got bullied. Her birthday, November 15th. Here are some photographs of her and her family. Hannah was a junior at the University of Idaho where she was majoring in English literature emphasis with a minor in Spanish. She had planned to obtain a master's degree in library sciences. She was employed at the university library. Hannah was most content curled up with a good book, indulging in novels and stories from a myriad of genres and eras, including poetry. Hannah also enjoyed spending time with family and friends and could always be relied on for a warm smile and dry sense of humor. Here's Hannah. She is more of a bookish girl, probably a good student, has good grades, and she is not somebody that would necessarily fit in with the types of people um, involved with the Greek life at the University of Idaho. The victims were partiers. The crowd they hung around with were partiers, which could be ex can be expected with fr uh, fraternities and sororities. So there's definite signs here that Hannah maybe would not have fit in with this group of girls. And it is possible that she could have been bullied by them. Dexter Hart on Twitter posted this. Small town. The majority know what direct neighbors drive and their regular visitors' cars, too. People know something. They just aren't saying. I wonder if the university atmosphere there is not much sympathy for these four. Lillian London posted this. To clarify, Hannah Clear took her life in February. Apparently, she shared a dorm with one of the victims and got bullied. Her birthday, 15th November. This is from Instagram. Someone replied, you deserved everything that happened to you, especially after what you did to that poor girl. You elitists are all the same. I'll be reserving my spit once they properly bury you. Here's another reply. I am friends of one of the surviving roommates. Maddie also used to share a dorm with two other girls before she moved in that frat house. Anyway, Maddie and this other girl would bully another girl so bad that last year she committed suicide. The brother of the girl vowed revenge. No lie. Another post. There was a girl called Hannah who shared a dorm with one of the victims, according to some students from the university. They bullied Hannah repeatedly until... She took her own life. Another post. She's talking about Hannah Clear. She was a roomie with Maddie that got bullied and took her own life. I'm guessing my Corgi stories was related to her, considering she had so much anger. Enough anger to still be just as angry as a year ago when she passed. Hannah Clear's birthday was November 15th, 2000. She killed herself on February 24th, 2022 this year. Something weird is in that small, quaint town of Idaho. 
Another post says, it's tragic that their parents raised them to be a group of mean girls well into their adulthood. See what happens when you tease the wrong person? From the area originally, we all know why it happened. What do you think? Do you think these people posting online are making these stories up? Or do you think there's credibility behind the fact that possibly one of the four victims in the Idaho student murders was a bully? Leave your comments down below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.